lot of people's brains nowadays are like, I don't know, from social media and stuff like that, it's like they have like 10 second interest. Oh, yeah. So what you post in that first 10 seconds or first 30 seconds, let's say, of your video yep. is probably the most important content that you have to have. Good job. Yeah. Good press with your Give us our daily bread. I want the whole basket. Cause I'm a hustle till I get it or I'm in a casket. Passionate for providing value in every way. Not cashing in for providing value every day. Paying it forward. Right thing, I'll do it till I'm dead. I hope you're hungry cause it's time for the daily bread. It is Wednesday, 8.15 in the morning. I just finished up with Ibotta. Now it's time for Tyler. We are going on the exercise bike. Two minutes to start just warming up. Then after that, we begin. One Tabata song. This is as hard as I can. Yeah. much back to back to back um, doing a podcast tonight and uh, really really amped to get this episode from the content yesterday up today because it's gonna be fire <laughs> So, as you can see, Tyler's hand is one of his pancakes. Hi, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the pancakes constitute another tip from the whip. Oh, <laughs> we have a, excuse me. <laughs> a pancake tip from the whip. <laughs> ah. Hi, guys. Me too. Protein pancakes are a staple of mine. And it is my hope that they will be a staple of yours. <laughs> but now these pancakes, I've been eating them forever, like as long as I can ever remember um, on the road. Um, and there's a recipe I can put in the comments. Oats, rolled oats, still cut oats, whatever kind of oats you want. Whey protein, egg whites, bananas, blueberries, some baking powder. Blend it all up. Put on a little uh, heated surface, whatever you call it, a little thing, wok or, or whatever. I got one of those electric ones you plug in make pancakes out of them the best thing is I mean they're incredibly healthy but I take two paper plates put the pancakes on one like five of them stick them in the microwave for like a minute and a half take them out of the microwave kind of pile them on top of each other stick the other paper plate on top kind of keeps the heat in I walk out to my car with it and like right now like 10 minutes later and I'm eating my last one and it tastes good I'm able to just literally like eat it with my hand um, and it's healthy and so you're able to start your day like super super efficiently but they taste great like that I, I I have no problem eating this every single morning indefinitely. You know, they talk about breakfast being the best part of the day, but a lot of us just don't have time. Cool tip about what happened this week was my wife actually, when I was like, hey, we, do we have the, all the stuff for pancakes? She's like, I already made it today. I was like, oh. it just, I mean, I got, I got aroused at that moment. But perfect breakfast for the hustler. All right, guys, so just got out of the first group of meetings, went seven for seven. I love starting out the first meeting of the day with success. I've talked about momentum already on this uh, daily vlog, but I don't think people grasp how important it is to create momentum and create it early and often. Um, anytime that you can do that, as I'm heading to this next meeting, I feel invincible, right? Like I feel unstoppable. It creates that confidence level that you can go in and you just know without a doubt that they're gonna buy. And that's invaluable in sales. Um, confidence is everything. 
another important thing that I'll mention in regards to confidence is the lack of it. And so many people, that is their problem, is the lack of confidence. And what I've found is a precursor to that lack of confidence is desperation. What happens is you have a, a dry spell, you, you have a um, bad month, a bad quarter, a bad year, a bad couple of years. You get this desperation and it may not be an external thing that you can even pick up on, but I promise you, it's super important to know that the person sitting across the table from you, they can feel it. They can sense the desperation in someone. They can sense when somebody really needs to make this sale. Nobody wants to be sold by someone that feels desperate. Like they're saying yes is like what's putting food on your table this month. Um, and that's what, what plays into that low confidence. I don't know what the answer for that is. I don't, um, other than just to say be patient and just master your craft so that you know that you can do the right thing and 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 know that good things will happen. Ah, uh, there we go. Can you hear me? Yeah, makes some really good quality stuff, and I uh, really do like it. What's your, goal? What's your end goal with all this? And I made this commitment for five years just not to sell anything personally through my social media. The amount of disproportionate value that you can create for freaking putting this type of level of value out for five straight years is years never been ago. done. My last video I actually posted got 25 million views. Wow. <laughs> You're going to find out on this social media platform stuff that word travels faster than you think. And so, and, yeah. the, and, cir and circles are super, super small. Yeah. And so f coming into this year is where I'm really focusing on the business back inside. Like I'm still not selling anything, but I, I'm starting this year now to build the email list. And, and I'm going to build the text platform and getting all that stuff put together to do more, you know, speaking engagements and things like that. Like, but, but also be able to meet people that I can work with long term that I genuinely just enjoy being around. Like, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's where it's all ultimately it's heading. Going. After a while, it, it takes a toll, but you can't let, you can't let that push you down. You know what I mean? Dude, like my inbox now, like people ask like, dude, like what kind of drugs is Gary Vaynerchuk on? Like, how does he stay? So like just on this insane level all the time. Well, if you're getting like life changing emails every two seconds in your inbox, which is what he is, yeah. Then how do you not I, how do you not it, wake up in a full sprint? You know. It, well, so let me know like what are you trying to work on at the moment? Like say like with this with these daily vlogs, what is like the thing that you're kind of missing the mark with, or what are you trying to really work on? I mean, with the daily vlogs, it's literally just I want to I want more eyeballs on it. Like I mean, yeah. that's 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 it because. You watch one episode and you'll figure out who I am really quick. You watch two episodes and it solidifies it because it's the same person. And, and what I would suggest to you is you need to find people that do the same shit as you. All right. Yeah. And do share for shares with them. Yeah. And this is big. This is big. I mean, you share their content. Like, I mean, like with a, just a share of a public post, not actually post the video, yeah. but like a share and then they share your stuff. Mm -hmm. That's a way to build your brand really really easily i'll just have you on the breadwinner podcast but we can do it as like a facebook live yeah. um yeah. we can do it as like a facebook live but i'll record it and then we can use that for the podcast do you push people to um click your notification i really haven't no yeah that's a big thing that you have to work okay. on as well you know like uh at the end of a video or something like that be like yo go ahead and turn on post notifications Okay. And, you know, if you really want to see, you know, because that's, that's, Facebook, dude, I'll, I'll literally, I'll do that. As soon as we got this phone call, I'll record that and put that on the end of the vlog coming out today for sure. Yeah. Or yeah tomorrow. Just get, yeah. don't, don't make it like almost like, don't make it like baggy almost. Yeah. Kinda just be like, like hey, of, make sure like yeah. well, this vlog comes out every day, but we don't know what time we're going to be able to post it each day. Make sure you click on the notification so you'll yeah, know as soon as exactly. it hits. You keep this mindset of what you have. I'm not joking. Never drift away from this fucking mindset. Well, that was uh, so. That was my reason for making that commitment. Like I, like I told people, and it was like one o'clock in the morning on Facebook Live. And when I, I instantly regretted saying it, but like now it's the most important thing I've ever said. But when I said that, I'm not going to sell a single thing to you on social media for five years because it enabled me to just turn that switch off. Like as I got towards the end of last year, like obviously like opportunities come about. Like they're like, why aren't you selling this, pushing this, doing this, like. But like me being able to just turn that switch off, like I'm not even 
I don't even think about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, dude, good talking to you, bro. Yeah, I, no, I really I'm, appreciate I'm connecting. At the same time we're talking. So. Yeah, no, I appreciate I'm the aware. the 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 conversation, and let's definitely connect further. Many experiences that will happen over the next few weeks and the next few months, <laughs> and I cannot wait. It's how, like that. How, how do we cut that? Like. <laughs> 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 To me, like it's about figuring out what you're not good at and either delegating those to other people or just figuring out a way to avoid those things at all costs and then just doubling, tripling, quadrupling down on the things that make you you and the good things. Like I went to this Take Ownership event um, a couple weekends ago, about a month and a half ago, up in uh, Newark with E.T., uh, Eric Thomas, and Gerard Adams. And something so interesting that they said, man, they, I'd never heard it before. They said, are you chasing hustle? Or are you chasing your gift? And the thing that was so interesting about that to me is I thought like, you know, he was like, are you chasing hustle or are you chasing? And I was like, your passion. <laughs> you know, like, I thought, that was, I thought that was what he was going to say. But he said, are you, or are you chasing your gift? Because your gift, like that doesn't change. Like you were born with certain gifts and skills and abilities and talents. Your passion will go up and down and you can become passionate about something. You can lose passion in something, but if you start chasing after what you're actually truly gifted in, like your God given abilities, like that's what you are supposed to be doing. Like the things that you find super easy that everyone else is like, I don't, I have no idea how you're doing that. The things that when you do it, you're just like, you love it and you just can do it all day long. Like chasing after that, not just, not just chasing this, like, I want to be busy all day. And so I can wear this, you know, H on my chest of hustle and you know, all that kind of stuff. Like, like I love the hustle, but like if you're hustling and not getting anything done, like you lose. And there's so many people that I think they, they go on this journey of self-awareness and they go and try to discover all these things about them and they focus on the negative and trying to fix those. I'm a bad, I'm a bad listener. I'm a bad uh, planner. I'm a, it's about celebrating those things that you are an incredible at and building an infrastructure around you so that you can be that every single day, all day. Like that's, for me, that's what 2018 is all about. It's about building an infrastructure around me that enables me to do what I was born to do. Facebook Live. Everybody's doing well. Um, very important message here. I'll wait for a couple of people to jump on. I am. Uh, I'm hoping TJ walks in here in the car live while we're doing this. Uh, so important message. Super important message. So I just released episode eight. Uh, we just got it posted, and literally TJ's been working on this thing since eight o'clock this morning. Like hasn't taken any breaks. Like I'm dropping off right now. Like I just picked, dropped him off to go gra grab some food because he hadn't eaten like all day. But the way um, Final Cut Pro uh, rendered it, the music, um, somehow the music levels went, went up. And um, the second that we watched it, right before we just left, we could tell and it, and it overpowered the, the words and, and it just, um, it's not good. So I just made the decision like, cause I got some feedback already in the comments and then some messages, which guys, I appreciate your feedback so much. Like for the people, um, Tiffany Strunk, um, Brad Jones, um, for you guys. So, so, so TJ is walking in here, we're on Facebook hey, Live up, by the way. Oh, we're on Facebook Live? So TJ, what up? we gotta fix the music. He's, right. he's about to be pissed off. We just got a bunch of, I got a bunch, I just got a bunch of messages and people are saying they can't hear us talk. Okay, that's, that's fine. So, but I want, <laughs> look how nice this guy is. He's so angry right now on the inside. It's like a burning, just inferno. Here's the thing, like, we could leave it up and pretend like it didn't happen, but it wouldn't be the right thing to do for Ivy and her story that we're trying to get yeah, out, uh -huh. you know? So, so we're gonna fix it. It won't take, like, it'll take yeah, a second no to fun. fix and we'll upload it. But like, guys, if you're watching this, it would mean the world for me, for you to go back and share it again. You, you have no idea um, how much time TJ has put into editing this. Like, I, like I'm blown away. Like, it's been nonstop, like, nonstop since 8 a.m. this morning. Yeah, that's it guys. <laughs> We're gonna go uh, rush back to the hotel and get that fixed, get it posted. Say a prayer for TJ. He doesn't need it.
don't don't make it like almost like don't make it like baggy almost. Yeah, Kinda just like be like, hey, of, make sure like yeah. well, this vlog comes out every day, but we don't know what time we're going to be able to post it each day. Make sure you click on the notification so you'll yeah, know as soon as exactly. it hits. 